The maze in the pathway of the fallen in Remnant 2's new DLC, The Awakened King, has so many secrets hidden inside of it, and I think it's one of the coolest new dungeons that they added. We're going to go through all five rewards you can get from this dungeon and how to acquire them. To start out, you know you're in the right place if you're in the Pathway of the Fallen, that's the name for this maze dungeon. You're gonna wanna complete the beginning portion of the dungeon and any injectables that are included in there. Make your way all the way to this small checkpoint. This is the start of the maze section. From the checkpoint, you'll see a path to the left and the map's not actually gonna show you any of the maze because it's a maze, they want you to find your way through. And there's a building in the middle with a locked door, but we'll get to that later. So basically you're gonna follow the path Path that I go here, but there's an entire hedge maze that you can run around in. You might find a couple chests and some enemies. So take your time, go through it. And once you complete the path, it will be on the map for you. So you could go back through if there's anything you missed. There are quite a few elites in this maze. So definitely take your time if you're on a harder difficulty. But once you get to the end of the maze, there's a shortcut door to get back out. So you could open that before you fight this aberration. If you are on a harder difficulty, it might be the best idea so that you can just go in. You don't have to go through the maze anymore. But now the maze is on our mini map. So we don't really have to worry about not knowing where to go. However, you will have to fight those elites again if you die to this guy. So the Wraith Liege Aberration is the mutator in this area, and he's a pretty difficult one. So we ended up getting Elemental Resist and Hexer, which is pretty bad because we we're both running Ritualist and a lot of Elemental damage. From this Aberration, you're going to get one of the new DLC mutators called Prophecy. This is a ranged mutator that says using this weapon's mod increases mod power generation by 3 seconds for 10 seconds, max 5 stacks, and at level 10, it reduces mod power requirement of the weapons mod by 10%. And obviously those numbers increase as you max out the mod. This aberration is also going to give you the Memoriam Medallion Key, and you'll need to use this in three different ways to get three different rewards. So choose which one you want to get each run. You can only get one reward per run, and I'm going to show you all the options here. So the first option is to go back through the shortcut to the room in the middle, use the medallion key on the middle room, open it and receive the gift of melancholy amulet. This increases all damage dealt by 25% when stamina is at 100% for seven seconds. The next option is to shoot the painting that's leaning up against the wall in the room after the aberration. If you shoot this painting, it's going to reveal another doorway. And in fact, a lot of people didn't even have this painting when they finally went in there because the ritualist just annihilates everything with miasma. So a lot of people just went straight through it. You're going to go through that doorway. You're going to go up the stairs around the corner and there's going to be a way to travel to the dream realm. And if you go through to this dream world, you can actually go on the other side of the maze and make your way through there. Now, once you do that, open the shortcut door and you'll be back in the main area with that same building in the middle with the door. You can use your medallion key on the door in that dream realm in order to open up for a different reward. That reward is the gift of Euphoria Amulet, which says spending 25 stamina grants 5% crit chance for seven seconds, max five stacks. And then one of the secret items in this area, if you are wearing the Red Prince crown, which by the way, I have a video on how to get that, if you're wearing the Red Prince crown, when you get in this room in the dream world, the wall is actually just going to open up for you and you'll be able to go down in the basement of this room. And then down in this room, you're going to get a couple lore books, but you'll also get the cremated soul ash, which is a new material that you can take back to McCabe. And she is going to be able to craft you the night guard weapon mod. Now this weapon mod is pretty cool because they do count as two summons because there's two swords that spawn and will hit enemies for you and they do count as summons for like your rings and stuff. I haven't done a ton of testing but they did work with some of the rings that count for summons so there could definitely be a cool summons build with the night guard mod. All right so the last and final thing you can do with this memoriam medallion key is take it to the web. We knew there was going to be at least one item in in the DLC that we'd be able to take over to the Nightweaver's web and give it to the web and 
get something out of it. So in this case, it is this medallion key. So you need to have both areas in your adventure. So you want to make sure that you have Morrow Parish, aka Night Weaver's storyline. And you also want to have Pathway of the Fallen dungeon, which is the maze dungeon. You're going to want to progress your Night Weaver's storyline all the way up until you are back with the heart in order to turn it into the dream world and access the web. And then giving the medallion to the web is going to give you the bitter memento ring. The bitter memento ring sets 1% of the wearer's max health as gray health. So this is a way to just always have gray health. If you want to use this with a lot of the other gray health items in the game, it's a way to make sure you always have it and you don't have to worry about proccing your gray health another way. I know some of you guys were mistaking the memoir medallion from the memoriam medallion, which I get. It's very easy to confuse the two, but they are separate rewards, separate items, etc. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If it did, make sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.